Uh, what I see in the Chinese church is that there is a real deep devotion. Uh, this is what uh, history has observed with, with the rise of Christianity in places such as South Korea. And this is not to be overly pessimistic with what we see in places like South Korea because God has blessed that nation and has done remarkable things. But when you see a church such as China where there has been oppression, there's been persecution, there's something special about the stirring of the, stirring of the affections of people. There's a sense of urgency, a sense of desperation, a sense of real devotion. And what I see right now is, is that the Chinese church, uh, in a general sense, has not been enslaved by a lot of these secondary issues that we find in other places. And therefore, it causes them to have more of a unified voice in gathering together with other Christians and to say that we can disagree about secondary issues, but let's agree on the non-negotiable essential issues about the gospel, how the gospel shapes our life and ministry and our worldview and everything that we evaluate in life. And this is what I think is special with the Chinese church up in the